So this next enhancement in 2018, I'm super excited about. So excited actually that I went and bought my own personal Tormach CNC machine for my garage. And that's now the addition of CAM 2.5 axis included in every seat of SolidWorks. Now there's two options for CAM. There's CAM Standard and CAM Professional. And the great news about both these products is that they're powered by CAMWorks. And CAMWorks has been a gold partner with SolidWorks since 1997. And so we're sure it works. So that's awesome news. So has anybody here actually opened up a file in SolidWorks that wasn't a native file? And you get that little box that pops up that says feature recognition, and you can choose yes or no. That's actually a CAMWorks feature. And it's really helpful when generating toolpaths and operation plans. Simply run operation or run your feature works operation, and that recognizes all the machinable features in your model and automatically generates the operation plan, the toolpaths, and even selects the right tools for you with your technology database. Adding 2NF access features is also really easy. Specifying your keepout zones, or maybe even isolating particular islands on your machinable feature is extremely easy in SOLIDWORKS uh, CAM. And the great news about that is, is that it's an additional tab in your feature tree. So you could think if you're in the design process and you're not quite sure about the accurate dimensions, you don't have to worry about it. You can make changes in your SOLIDWORKS feature tree and those changes will be automatically updated in your CAM feature tree and thus your toolpaths will be regenerated. Now the key takeaway here is that when we make those changes, unlike in other CAM softwares, we don't have to re-import that model and all our design, all the work that we put into the, the, the design and the CAM operations is automatically updated. We don't have to redo all that information. In CAM Professional, we have the additional options to also program uh, turn as well as up to five axis CNC mill. With that, we also get volume mill and tolerance-based machining. Now, tolerance-based machining is really cool because it ties in with MBD. If we have a surface tolerance in MBD of say 50,000, so we might just run an end mill and leave some material behind and call it good. But if we now change that tolerance to say five thousandths, we might have to you know, start with our end mill and then come back with our finishing pass on our like surface tool. So that functionality is automatically read in when we import the, the GD&T information from MBD into CAM.